just like to thank you guys for being so patient. It must have been at least a uh, at least a two weeks now since I've made a significant update to my Transformers video. Um, I wasn't sure how I was going to phrase my next video, but um, ultimately what I wanted to do was make it abundantly clear that some of the work I've been doing on delayed conduction and changing waveforms um, for this transformer that um, that self runs and produces more energy than it consumes some of my wave manipulation work um, hasn't come to much it has um, although some of the theory is, um, is potentially sound as it turns out what occurred was I end up finding a few inefficiencies in my system and um, the gains that I made were largely due to losses in other areas um, so there's a few avenues I can take from now and I just wanted to take a week off to um, to do a bit of work on my Newman machine um, and the other motors that I've got going on the truck because uh, these free energy motors are working they are running um, and running very well and in fact I've just had a new set of magnets come in um, and I'm going to make my biggest one ever um, currently they're producing more energy than they consume they're somewhere in the range of uh, 10 units of energy out for one unit input um, but, uh, but I've got my thoughts together and essentially what I want to do now is continue to pursue the transformer work um, I'm going to stick in a clip here of uh, some of the work my colleagues have done which is absolutely f of uh, some of the work my colleagues have done which is absolutely phenomenal absolutely incredible work uh, with met glass transformers uh, now these are hugely expensive and uh, not readily available so I'm not going to be able to duplicate those experiments just yet but um, but $800 and a couple of weeks later when they arrive I'll let you know how it works out um, yeah as you can see in the video um, it's something in the realms of COP 10,000 uh, from a transformer which is really cool especially given the simplicity um, and now that I've shown uh, this um, wave manipulation greater efficiency under load uh, to be a fallacy in this particular instance for those who have been watching my previous uh, series of videos on that 
Um, there's a few avenues I want to take before abandoning the prospect of iron transformers completely um, because I would have liked to have made these principles work with iron because it is readily available and obviously extremely cheap. Um, now the few things I wanted to do with that is, uh, is a bucking coil experiment um, that allows you to bring up the current uh, and the flux on the core much more quickly by having a counterwound transformer rather than having just a, a counterclockwise or a counterclockwise wound primary you have one of each on the same core and this cancels the inductance uh, effect and allows you to um, uh, force a lot more current through very quickly uh, thereby potentially reducing the load to almost zero and possibly creating um, effects that move magnetic flux from magnets around much more efficiently uh, so if you can push a lot more flux that already exists very quickly and allow it to drop off in the normal fashion um, you could really gain some uh, advantages from that um, and similarly speaking um, another avenue that I'm about to look into um, hopefully all within the next couple of days um, will be parallel primaries and I'm hoping to see similar effects but possibly not so pronounced but it's something I've got to explore these are two avenues that absolutely have to be explored before uh, leaving iron behind as a suitable free energy core um, and obviously the resonant effects are out which is a shame because um, in the other transformers they seem by far and away the most promising and uh, I haven't been able to do much in the way of iron and resonance they just don't go together um, at least not uh, off the shelf cores because they're made of laminations with plastic and flexible media in between all the laminations and they just don't want to resonate uh, so that's fine there are plenty of alternatives and we're going to explore those so uh, I'm, I'm hoping to get quite a lot of this done in fact tonight uh, that would be excellent because I've just 3D printed some new cores for some ferrite transformers that I've got around and I'll be doing a bit of work with that over the next few weeks um, but that's really what I want to share the, um, those two avenues in which we can explore iron more fully over the next few days um, and I'll show you more on my motors coming up soon too. They're very promising and they seem to work very well. So uh, yeah, I'm going to record a few results from that. I'll spin those up um, after the other video I'll stick in with those phenomenal results. And uh, yeah, hopefully you can post some of yours back to me. And um, we're going to crack this, um, as indeed many of you already have. And um, I've been so busy encouraging people to hurry up and catch up with what I'm doing. I'm rather amused by the fact that uh, it is now indeed the other way around. Um, which is almost as satisfying, arguably more. But uh, in the end it all amounts to the same thing so I'm not too concerned. Thank you so much for watching. Stay in touch. Like and subscribe. Welcome back guys, thanks for staying with me. Um, I recall one fact that I wanted to share with you. Um, here's my next Newman motor. Uh, this guy comes in at 2,500 ohms, 2.5k, just over. Um, whereas the one you see in the background is uh, only 800 ohms. So my first one was 1.7k, um, so this will be the highest resistance yet. And, uh, and that will mean the greatest torque and the lowest input power however it probably won't be spinning all that fast um, but some of my new electronics will allow me to raise the voltage um, even beyond the 800 volt drive that I've almost touched um, hopefully I'll be operating these with transistors above a kilt
uh, above a kilovolt soon and, um, and they are enormously powerful magnets as you can see I mean that is a lot of beers between here and there really impressively powerful magnets um, but the reason for this extra little video um, uh, was to share the um, third means of transformer optimization with iron that I'd considered. Um, I just shared two a moment ago uh, to do with having multiple primary coils um, and there's a few things I want to try and prove uh, the validity of not whether that can be used to advantage or not. Um, and in the back of my mind there's one that I hadn't tested um, it had been plaguing me for the last um, week and a half or so that I've had working on other things and um, getting the house in order. Um, things were getting a bit out of control because I'd just been working flat out since March and um, and I could barely walk through the house without stepping over things. It was actually getting quite ridiculous. Um, so what I also want to try is um, is switching AC through a single primary coil. Um, there's one thing I've noticed about AC current. Um, the rise and the fall times you get are very conducive to working with iron cores and they operate really nicely. Um, essentially it seems that AC currents are more efficient in transformers, iron ones, than DC. Um, and I've already been getting upwards of 90% efficient with DC. Um, so My other circuits uh, for wave optimization um, were putting that up to 100 and very arguably 100 and, two, 100 and a few percent um, under DC, but it was pretty negligible in terms of over unity results. Um, it's, it's actually less than I'd achieved doing basically the same thing before with ferrite, but I think it was slightly over unity. Um, but a lot of the failing of that is um, uh, is the DC. Um, what I want to try doing as well for the third optimization method that I'm going to report back on over the next uh, few days or a week is by utilizing the the smooth and steady nature of the AC currents and how they're taken by the iron and chopping them off dead in the middle, trying my same. Um, <laughs> Uh, phase shifting technology uh, my, that switching I've been playing with over the last few weeks and uh, yeah seeing how that results instead of chopping in DC and chopping it out to um, to letting the AC roll in and chopping that out so uh, in my mind I can't disprove it it, uh, it does come with a certain degree of promise so uh, it's been great to have a week and a half off because I've been absolutely on the attack with these things for a few months now and uh, I look forward to getting back to that. So, now that the washing's taken care of and the cleaning and the building of new shelves, um, won't bore you with the tedium, but uh, let's get back to the war against physics, shall we? Okay, do enjoy yourselves. The stream, organized streams of vacuum flux, now you see what a potential, an ordered potential is. That's an artificial potential. If there's no order to those forces willy-nilly and they stun because there's so doggone many of them and they cover every direction randomly, then that is a disordered vacuum. And that's the kind our theory insists we got. It isn't. This is the kind we can create real easy and we'll show you how to do that. Next slide. However, in saying this, the standing, the total standing wave velocity uh, with a uh, mismatched turn coil turns, um, uh, may, there may be math there that I don't yet know of that, that might explain that further. So I just wanted to sort of touch on that a little bit more. Um, also that the time rotor change of the magnetic field is um, uh, proportional to the turns, the, the voltage is proportional to the turns and the voltage as a result determines the current. So the the voltage through a resistance R 
um, determines the current via Ohm's law. Привет. Сегодня вам расскажу про маленький генератор SE, который вот собрал э, на микросхеме TL494. Схемка очень простая достаточно, вообще тут ничего не надо делать. Да, 30-ваттный фонарик вот такой, ну можно светодиоды использовать, можно лампочку накаливать. В любом случае здесь очень все просто, ничего сложного нет, мотается сердечник. В общем, это схема акулы, э, которые... Нашел в интернете Делается все очень просто Совсем простая схема Честно говоря не верил пока коллега не собрал По опасному ремеслу Но тем не менее я Хочу продемонстрировать как она горит Использовал я на сегодняшний момент Вот этот вот прожектор Обычный прожектор 10 ваттный да? То есть я его разобрал сразу говорю Сзади вот просто два провода торчат От светодиодной матрицы Ибо Пришлось выдрать из него вот это вот, ну, вот это чудо, да, тут стоял драйвер, его просто небрежно отрезал, ну и фиг с ним, да, то есть вот 10 ваттный прожектор, да, то есть я думаю, что все очень хорошо знают. Используем для запуска обычную батарею аккумулятор на 12 вольт, просто прикасаясь, значит, вот, 12 вольт, да, то есть вот она, вот, я просто прикасаюсь сейчас к этому диоду, зажигаю прожектор и... Он уже подстроенный, тут вот есть резистор подстройки частоты и резистор подстройки, как я понял, в, этом, в этой схеме самого уровня выхода напряжения. Итак, я дотрагиваюсь, смотрите, так, что-то у меня тут, о, все включилось, значит, и, опа, все, смотрите, я убираю полностью.